Mr. Smith. My name is Viri and I'm going to be your nurse for today. I'm going to go ahead and sanitize my hands, perform some hand hygiene. Alrighty, so before I proceed, I just want you to give me your name and date of birth. Uh, Jackie Smith, October 9th, 1952. Alrighty, perfect. So I have been uh, told that you've been having some difficulty breathing. So first I'm going to perform an assessment. I'm going to make sure to hear your lung sounds, take your respirations, and then also was um see where you're sitting at with oxygen and then we can perform some suctioning okay okay i'm gonna go ahead and get prepared and then we'll continue okay okay i'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and then i'm gonna put on my ppe my mask my goggles and my gloves Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and set this over here and I'm gonna let it read you out your oxygen. When, while it's reading your oxygen, I'm gonna take a look and listen to your lung sounds, okay? Okay. Alrighty, and breathe. Alrighty, so I am hearing some little bit of mucus and congestion, so I'm going to go ahead and perform some suctioning, and then I confirmed that with your O2, you're sitting um, at a 93, so I'm just going to go ahead and perform that, okay? Okay. I'm going to leave that pulse oximeter on, and then before I go ahead and set up my field, I'm going to go ahead and take off my gloves, throw those in, in the garbage, I'm going to go ahead and sanitize my hands. I am going to go ahead and hyper oxygenate you for 15 liters. I'm going to turn on my suctioning, making sure that it's sitting between 80 and 120. And then I'll test that really quickly. My hands are clean. I'm going to test that suctioning. Okay, it does work. I'm going to go ahead and grab a hold of it. I'm going to put a towel over you. Is that okay, Mrs. Smith? Yes. I'm going to put it on you just to protect. Then I'll lay the suction tubing right over here. I'll lay it right there. I'm going to perform hand hygiene again. I'm checking my kit. It is not expired. It's still good to use. And then I'm going to go ahead and open it. Alrighty. I'm going to take out my little sterile cup. I'm going to open my bottle. I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit. Alrighty. Then I'm just going to leave it open. I'm going to go ahead and perform hand hygiene again. And I'm going to perform sterile gloving. Alrighty, I'm going to take out my little pad. I'm going to set this right here. Alrighty, I'm going to take a hold of it with my dominant. And then with my non-dominant, I'm going to go ahead and secure it. Alrighty, I am going to go ahead and test the suctioning to see if it works. And it does work. Alrighty, Mrs. Smith. So right now that you are hyperoxygenated, you're sitting right at 100. I'm going to go ahead and perform it, okay? I'm going to take it off your trach um, mask and we'll start, okay? Okay. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and take off the trach mask. And I'm going to advance the catheter until I feel resistance. Alrighty, once I feel resistance, I'm going to go ahead and pull two centimeters out, one, two, and then I'm going to start suctioning. 
but before once I'm advancing it I would not cover my suctioning because I would damage the membranes but now that I'm going to go ahead and do that I'm going to begin Alrighty, I will put that mask back on, go ahead and rinse my suction cap, and then I would wait 60 seconds to perform the second pass. Alrighty, it has been 60 seconds. I am going to go ahead and perform the pass again, and she's still sitting at 100 now with the reoxygenation. I'm going to move it, perform suctioning again. Alrighty, and then I'm going to retract it, and then I wouldn't be suctioning in while advancing. Retract two centimeters, then suction. Alrighty, go ahead and put that right there. I would go ahead and clean this. Alrighty, I'd go ahead and take a hold of it with my other gloved hand. I would remove it. Set this over here, dispose of this safely in the correct receptacle, and then I'm going to perform hand hygiene, and then I would go ahead and turn my suction off, and while I turn it off, I will assess for color, odor, and consistency of the suction, of the suction secretions. Um, it is clear, and I don't see any cons concern consistency. And since the patient is sitting at 100, I'm going to just go ahead and tighter her down to her normal, which would be her 4 liters, while she is being put back on her normal expected liters. I'm going to go ahead and clean everything up. I would dispose of this in the garbage. And then I'd go ahead and close my bottle date and time it just to make sure that the next person knows when this will expire set this aside i would go ahead and um sanitize my hands and then i go ahead and remove the towel place it in the dirty linen once again i would go ahead and sanitize my hands because i'm by the garbage can i would go ahead and remove my glasses my mask throw it away sanitize my hands one more time and then i'd come back Alrighty, Mrs. Smith, so you are sitting now from 93 to 99. I'm going to go ahead and listen one more time to your lungs, okay? Okay. Alrighty, so I don't hear as much mucus as I did before, and you're sitting right as where I had previously mentioned at 98, so you are sitting great where you are. It seems like the suctioning helped. I'm going to go ahead and remove this, put your arm right back in, make it comfortable. Alrighty, I have set your call light on your left side. I'm going to go ahead and take this, lower your bedside table. And I'm going to go ahead and document and then come back to visit you and see how you're doing in 30 minutes. Okay, Mrs. Smith? Okay. All right. I'm going to sanitize my hands and then go document.